Hello, the brew crew and coffee's jamming. And welcome back to the traveler here. And uh, um, yeah, with Montrose, and it's it, we, today. It is a lot of stuff we need to talk about. First off, we have played some matches, as you've seen here. Not that great. Unfortunately, uh, we had the power break yesterday, or power break. Isn't that like... <laughs> I mean, a power breakout? Power break, I believe, is like this commercial, which is in ice hockey. So, <laughs> no, we did not have a power break. We're not sponsored. <laughs> but yeah, I was going to record yesterday, yes, and I had played this, and I won it with... To one that's one I'm <laughs> agitated about or irritated. So unfortunately, we lost that end, as you can see. Now it doesn't look that good. It would have actually looked better. I on the on the eventful match. I mean, Kilmer and Knock. Uh, we get got a draw there. I think we this that you shall <laughs> probably deserve more, but I will. Kill Marnock is not a bad team, even if they have started pretty bad. Duferlin, we seem to have really tough for them, so... Yeah, and we did not create that many chances, so well deserved. Kudos to you, uh, Duferlin. I don't care about the Challenge Cup anyway. And we won against Patrick Twistley here, so that, that was at least nice. That was... A good performance. And I'm sorry about that. I don't know what happened. I it just stopped by some weird reason. So yeah, um, we won here against Patrick Twistley. A free kick by Easton to Raphael. They have been uh, two of the most, at least, best performing players here. We get to second goal here. Oh, there we go. I believe here we win the ball and just go for counter-attack. I feel like when it's worked out good, we can both counter and play with... Um, what is it called? Uh, oh my god, what is it called? I can't even remember now. Possession football, we can play both types of football, so that's pretty nice. So Ali Hay here to Easton. Easton with two assists there, so that's pretty nice. All to Simpson there and three now, so yeah, pretty. We won against the team that was, uh, uh, what to call it, that was Premiership last season, so that was brilliant. And then we won against Morton, so. Then I thought just, oh wow, we are going to just go on a roll here. No, apparently not. Uh, Ramsey to Raphael. I'm sorry if you can hear the washing machine there. I don't know what to really do about it. I think I will uh, audio evidence and try to make it better and such. And then we had these three losses due for leaning. Yeah. How did they score two goals and we zero? That makes no sense looking at the stats. And we lost against Queen of Souths as well, but dominating the stats as usual and then we lost <laughs> on top of that we lost against uh, Cowd Rangers and also got Callum McGuffley in there. I was so pissed I just pointed the finger at the screen at that time Killen's tendon uh, so yeah unfortunately we have injury there. Logitech and my webcam decides to do this and I have recorded as well by the microphone you don't have to worry because you can set it in so it records with the uh, USB microphone but just stop doing that that's really annoying it's like oh I'm going to stop recording as for no apparent reason whatsoever I don't really understand but yeah we meet Calden Breath which is knife uh, so they second to bottom, and then Stirling, which uh, in the Scottish Cup, which are, are in League 2, but doing it pretty good still. I believe they have pretty decent players. 
Yeah, we actually, we, uh, they have loaned two players from us, Alan Pattison, uh, which is called Seven Goals there. I don't know if they got, get, uh, chance against us there. And then we have Stephen Kelly, who was signed from Sterling, but he's back at Sterling because, but some news about, uh, manage jobs as well. I actually tried to, I applied for a free jobs here, which I thought, well, it's, it's not, it's not an awful lot job like Margate, we're going down, and still it's not like Greece or what else was it here? Sankt Etienne, it's not like we should not be able to get, here we have, uh, I, now I'm worried of it just ending the freaking webcam because it should not fucking do this. So yeah, but they have uh, Mexican owners here. I'm sorry about this. This is going to be really annoying to look at as well. Um, so yeah, so they're Mexican owners. Pretty cool there. But yeah, they they got sacked, uh, or their manager got sacked and they are 12 in the league. Or I guess they were in the Serie A last season. So it's not super uh, unexpected still, but yeah. They, I mean, they've not been in uh, Serie A in l real, but yeah, up and down, up and down, and up and down. But I've not got a job interview from them uh, yet, and not from Pamplona either. Much of a step up, since I believe both Serie B. Uh, it's just weird. I I think, what is it called? All Svenskan is it called in real life? Where else for? Yeah, I've got a job interview for them. Swedish league, yes, um, it's all with Malmö. Fourteenth best league in in uh, Europe. I was kind of surprised when I saw that, but oh well. Yes, that's nice. And we even get in the league. You even get two spots for championship. So, so yeah. And we are already, if we get to Ellsbury, we already call, or, or not already qualifying, <laughs> but we uh, play the qualifying against, uh, or uh, yeah, we will do the Europa League qualifier. So yeah, pretty even here. Malmö, of course, are <laughs> the dominated team. But I think actually, what does this they call um, Ellsbury has pretty good youth talent and such and they have not won too much they are a little bit like a team that should be doing better they have all the I guess we can see here or can you go on Swedish clubs I believe they are not super rich or anything but they still are the yeah fifth I guess they are all, all the Stockholm's club just because they have a lot of fans, a lot of intakes from that. Oh wow, I cost 71. G, uh, G. Gordon, a uh, 48. Yeah, I'm pretty good at saying these names. Okay, um, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like I need to get the, what is it called, the computer in for testing or whatever because the USB ports has always been saying, like this doesn't work or whatever and it, yeah it needs to be uh, it probably something problem with those as well why like disconnecting the microphone or something like that uh, but I don't know why this uh, or I guess the uh, what's it called the face cam as well um uh, yeah are connected to USB ports so I need to, I, I think I need to just get this computer in and uh, so yeah I don't know it might be I might just might just edit all the videos and just put them on another computer or another uh, hard drive or whatever and upload them and such because it's uh, it's just so annoying so yeah in summary we we just see here but yeah I'm Got the job offer. I, um, what you call it? I actually went on and um, said I already delayed it because of the other clubs. 
and um, as well we signed another player for um, what is it called uh, Montrus here. He's pretty decent. Has some good potential. Jordan Morrison from Jufferlin has not played that much. He's not uh, amazing right now, but he has some potential and he did not cost me too much. So. Yeah, for the why not? Uh, since we're, since we here at Montrose have a little bit struggle to keep on goal scoring, and as you can see, yeah, we have yeah fourteen goals scored and four. I would say that the defense is not really the problem. As you can see, yes, we conceded two, but we're not conceded too many in any game. I mean, Patrick Twistley is the only game where we scored more than two goals. So there you see, that is the main problem. At least we're not uh, drawing too much, so that's nice to see. Um, I don't know if we have anyone that's really outstanding here. Why I thought it was them. So 38 matches, 11 uh, victories, 9 draws and 18 losses. But I feel like we are a better team than Calden Ref right now. Um, so we keep going with uh, free at the back. It has not worked brilliantly recently, as you can see. Um, but the main problem is still the yes, goal scorer, so I would not say the defensive per se. Al Al Hay. I was thinking of maybe bringing him to Ellsbury if I get there, because look at his development. He's brilliantly Al Hay, and I don't really know if he's ever going to be good enough for Premiership, but he might actually be a good player for Alsvensk and then like a good rotating play. Maybe in Blackett as well? I don't know. It's It depends how much money we get as well. I don't want to sign all these players though. Uh, I still want them to have their own youngsters and such. And then we have... Uh, it's like everything. Everything is going wrong today. <laughs> so yeah, we have Jim Nichols here as well. In the middle and McKenna, Easton, Scott Raphael and Simpson. Yeah, Scott Raphael and Simpson have been the most consistent or they've been a little bit uneven recently, but at least they're scoring goals. So they have seven and eight, but Fortunately, we're no one outside of them. Uh, Josh McLaughlin, which I thought would be a good player, which has scored before, definitely. And yeah, if you're wondering why I have bad morale as well, it's because I had the team talk and We bought him for 17,000, and it's not really been great so far. And uh, McFadden has been okay. And elsewhere, no one has really been super outstanding. Reed again, one of the best players in the world. No, <laughs> I'm just joking. He, he might actually be good for the Swedish condition as well, because I believe uh, a player with good handing is good in Allsvenska, or it might not be. It might, it might, they might actually uh, more play it... Um, um, on the floor, or what to call it, on the, uh, on, yeah, not in there, so to say. So yeah, th this might be a last match, or if the cup match is going to be a last match, but let's just go to this, and hopefully it will not decide to just screw me over once again, this face cam and everything. It might actually be the good time to actually go here, I feel like... Uh, it would be good with a Scottish or Englishman taking over or something. Uh, I feel like I've tried to keep everyone happy, but it's really difficult. Especially we have a pretty big squad, as it, I probably rotate more than other managers as well. But still, there are a lot of players that's unhappy with me, and that might deserve a. Uh, you start with a new manager and I feel a little bit like I have gotten stuck or whatever. Not per se, I mean we are still over the relegation zone, I mean 
to be fair, yes, this is a second season, so maybe you should just expect to not get relegated, but still, yeah, maybe I have tried too much tactical nonsense or whatever. Maybe I should just have used our old tactic and such, but I feel like last season was so... It was so awful. We could have, we could even, we were, we were just lucky not to get in the, to the relegation playoff. So, yeah, that's what I sort of uh, panicked and thought of, oh no, now I need to change everything. But apparently maybe I did not need to do it because I believe it's mostly just have come fuse the players with its free at the back and uh, everything else. Uh, McGregor, oh wow, they are playing really good here. We might actually be in a lot of trouble, 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 trouble double, and there, uh, Ray, yeah. As you can see, we have just, now we just have one point down to Cowden Breath, so I believe this is a good time um, to actually step down or whatever and give some else manager. I mean, we have not done it bad per se because we are expected seven, but yeah, I, maybe it just needs some other voice in the back room and some, some other tactic. Maybe I'm using as the wrong tactic for the material. Because I saw actually that apparently do not have that ma I just have this free at the back that is good. I have no really fantastic backup to my free uh, central defenders there. So if they get hurt, we are basically sort of screwed or whatever. No, nope, we don't get to see that uh, free kick there. So yeah, I'm, I will probably just play to either play the cup game or play to I uh, get that uh, job offer. So yeah, we will see. Eh. Oh my god, there's so much mediocrity here. Maybe we should go back. I, I, I'm going to actually go back to basics here. Might be, <laughs> it might be panicky, but I, I just just don't know actually what else Nichols out for you close and then we will attack and flexible work the ball into box tight marking run at backline mixed retain uh, yeah retain possession okay basically get have to get in the computer and just fix it because I had this problem before McLaughlin well he's like scored four goals in two seasons so far so not impressed so far not impressed um Al Hay has not done it great not Sean Smith either but we don't have a right back here so um, Cooper? Actually, I don't know if he has done it great either. <laughs> I don't really know. Uh, Makina, I feel like, can play best there. Overload is not going to do anything. We know Overload is basically just... <laughs> maybe it is a theory, or maybe it's true, actually, that... oh. Overload is contain and contain is overload. <laughs> Maybe football managers have always done it wrong uh, because I've seen some. I believe uh, Dr. Benji and others, uh, other YouTuber, has also said that overload. Okay, there is the match ended and we lost it. I mean, it was no really chances to watch either, and unfortunately, it cut out the audio or cut out. The face cam and audio. It said that I did not record it with audio. I don't understand why it disconnect all the time. It's just whole facts. Where are though? Oh, uh, one uh, 
director of football that's very known is Stefan Andreas and he's pretty good at his job actually and we will play possession football they wanted me to sign players um, oh wow a transfer budget that's something we don't get that much wage rights actually but the transfer budget is amazing one or this the transfer budget uh, 1.70 okay it's not Amazing, amazing, but you might not be able to get a lot of like amazing players. But still, yeah, they wanted me to sign uh, high profile players, but I did not want that. And this, uh, or I basically decided not to click that, whatever it said. Uh, can I get nine? Thank you. I get nine. Okay, almost, almost double wage rise. I believe we had 5.5, right? Okay, Jakob Oman is installed as new manager of EFL Sport, uh, confirming the mean, especially he would quit Montreux. Montreux is looking for a new manager. Montreux, uh, that is great that they get, uh, 45,000 uh, in compensation. Really love that. Uh, EFL Sport, um, finished the season in fourth in the Swedish Premier Division of Svenskan actually I I might be uh, I don't know how we changed the name and such I might do it it's still fun I have more losses than I have wins hopefully I will not bottle this as well which I have with some other jobs okay Andreas Silik Sch Looks like a very young. Okay, director. Welcome to the Guble. Take a minute. Yes, I would love to more more about the club. Yeah, yeah. Might just check here if I might just go overview here. Okay, we here again. Uh, we need wingers. And the left back, maybe. Oh, we basically need a goalkeeper. So we might actually get Rod Charles in. Because, yeah, to be fair, he's awful. I think Rod Charles would even be as good as him. But I don't know, can we... I think we can scout everywhere. But I might be mistaken. Where do we see where we can scout? Uh, Okay, then there are no restrictions. Okay, very good. I guess. Um, no, god damn it. I want to just see here. Okay. Um, our best position are probably uh, central defense again and the right back. So, yeah. Uh, we will probably go through more of the players and such in the next uh, episode and. It's the, it's the pre-season as well. I, I might actually move forward and just do all the transfer bits and such and go a, a little bit fast, go through all the team and such. So, yeah. So welcome here to Elspari, everyone. And we play as well in Boros Arena. And they actually just won, as you can see, excellent training facility, pretty good youth facility as well. So that's why I actually chose them. But they have really not too many titles, so that's uh, exciting. I actually think it's pretty cool because all other teams, and they're sort of a more feel or what, only won the Swedish Cup three times, so, and only won the league eight times. So I think we can do pretty good here. I guess we will see. It might be some. Uh, changes needed to me and some transfers but oh well thank you all for watching and i'm sorry for all this uh, the face cam uh, 